So we've had this big battery, uh, Rhino battery, in the shop for uh, a couple years now. It runs our solar and stuff on it. Uh, and we had an opportunity to get some more big batteries uh, to put in our bus for the upgrade that we're doing on that. So we're gonna eliminate a bunch of the 12 volt batteries and go with just some straight 24 volt batteries from big battery. So something's been going on with the batteries in here, the, the 12 volts. Um, I, I'm not getting full capacity on it. So we're gonna, when we take them out, we're gonna check them out and see what's going on too as we replace them with these new ones. So we're gonna put two of these Husky 2 batteries in here. So this is from Big Battery. Uh, they are 24 volt and uh, 200 amp hours each battery. They come packaged very well. Upside down. <laughs> Well, that'll make it easier to get it out then. Just roll the box over. They are 94 pounds each. Oh, they didn't package upside down. I put the box upside down. <laughs> I don't know. It's 200 amp hours per battery of 28, 24 volt. So that's four. You go to four regular 12 volt mm -hmm. lithium ion batteries in each one. So eight, eight batteries, which is what I was saying between the two. So we were able to pull eight of these individual 12 volt batteries out and replace them with the two. So it's gonna take up a lot less space in here, which will be nice. So having these batteries that are already 24 volts is gonna be much better than having 12 volt batteries hooked up in series and in parallel. Uh, so these will just get hooked up in there. Um, the BMS is gonna handle all the charging from the 24 volt charger versus the individual 12 volt batteries getting charged 24 volts across the two 12 volt batteries. Uh, you get a little fluctuation in there sometimes and, and they can come out of equalization just a little bit. So um, the, this, this will definitely help that. Uh, it's gonna take up a lot less space in there too. Uh, the footprint's definitely smaller. This is our 1947 Silversides bus. Uh, we're currently doing an interior remodel on it um, and we're actually redoing everything. So redoing the electrical system, putting those Husky 2 batteries in there. Uh, that's going to help us out, save us some more bay space. Bay space is at a premium for us, storage space. Uh, so instead of having uh, eight batteries, we'll only have the two, which they're larger two, but smaller than eight. Um, so that'll be a nice space saving thing. So. Uh, this project is definitely taking a lot longer than I thought. Our buddy Oz came and repainted the coach for us. Um, we're still working on the, some of the exterior, uh, getting it going. But uh, yeah, the, the electrical system with the Victron inverters, the solar panels on the roof, we're gonna be adding some more solar. Uh, that's not gonna be the big square panels like what's up there. Uh, and that'll all be able to charge uh, into those Husky 2s. But everything on the bus is set up 24 volt for all the house systems. Um, and it's a lot less cables and everything too. And on those 12 volt ones, the cables can come loose. They come a fire hazard when you have a lot of cables in there. So we're minimizing all those connections and everything with these batteries as well, which I do like. A couple things to point out about these Husky 2s. Here's some of the stats and information. Number one, with big battery, it comes with a 10 year warranty. That's a great battery to have. It's for 24 volt systems. Uh, they make them also for 48 volts. Uh, it's 25.6 volts nominal voltage. Um, 5,120 watts of power are in there, so it's nice. It's 200 amps, uh, amp hours of power. I've had these in here for five years. We're gonna pull them out and figure out what's going on because there is an issue going on where I'm not getting full discharge out of full capacity. Uh, there, something's not right, so we gotta figure out what's going on. So we'll get these all pulled out and we'll go through them too. Check all these real quick to see if they were not equalized. They all should read the same. We're very close to it. This is the one I was concerned about. Yeah, see how much lower mm -hmm. that is? Okay. And then the one that that was paired with was one of these two. I don't know which one it was. 13.4. Mm -hmm. Okay, check that one. Wow. 
what? Two point one eight. Mm-hmm. That's my problem right there. I knew something wasn't right. I wasn't getting capacity. Okay, check this one. That was thirteen seven, so that's good. So this one and that other one that were together were acting very funky. I'll have to see if this will charge up as 12 volt and we can get it. Maybe just because the two it somehow got weak and there was no way to bring it all the way up when you're charging 24 across the two batteries. Okay, we got them installed in here. I just got to do the hold downs for them. But everything is hooked up and we're testing the electric right now. So everything's communicating with the Victron stuff. Uh, looks like it's all set up right. Well, I plugged them in and ran my block warmer, which is 1500 watts, uh, for over an hour, and they did really well with that. So it handled the load good. I didn't do a full, you know, run it all the way down to, to zero to get a full capacity test on it, but I was just testing out with a pretty, pretty large load and it did real well. Well, we'll have more, more projects that we're going to do on Lenny. We'll have more video updates of that coming soon.